Hi guys! So today for our reading lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about fiction and nonfiction. And we've talked about this a little bit. Um, so remember, fiction is something that's made up, that can be silly or funny, um, but isn't something that might not necessarily happen. And nonfiction is something that you can read to learn about, to get information that's the truth. So earlier I read the story dragons love tacos. Now do you think that would be fiction or non-fiction? Is that something that's real? Did, are there really dragons that came out and ate a bunch of tacos at a party? <laughs> or is that non-fiction? So is that a silly story or something that's truthful and I learned information from it? What do you think? Fiction. Because as much as I love tacos and so do dragons, it's, not, it's a silly story. It's not a real story. And remember earlier this year when we were learning about um, Martin Luther King Jr. and Rosa Parks, and we read um, all those stories about them, and we learned information about their life, is that something that would be considered fiction or non-fiction? We learned information. So it would be non-fiction because it really happened. We learned about what they did in their lives. Um, that was a pretty fun time, wasn't it? So um, that's just kind of a little, in, a little review on what fiction and nonfiction are. Um, so I want you to go um, at your house and see if you can find maybe one or two examples of what a fiction book would be and what a nonfiction book would be. So remember, fiction is made up or silly, and nonfiction would be something that's truthful that you learn information about. So it could be about a person like Martin Luther King Jr., or it could be about um, like an animal. Maybe you want to learn about tigers, and you have a book that's about tigers. That would be a true story. But if it's a book about tigers riding a bicycle, would that be real? Would that be fiction or nonfiction? That'd be fiction because tigers don't ride bicycles, right? Although that'd be really cool if they did. <laughs> so the tiger book would have to be a book about information about tigers. So what do they eat? Where do they live? What do they do? That would be fiction. Or I'm sorry, that would be nonfiction. So, all right, so I want you to go at your house and see if you can find one or two books that are fiction and one or two books that are nonfiction and show your moms and dads. Okay? And I'll see you guys later. Bye!